Now, <clears throat> one thing to note about this game is the, like, I was, uh, if you guys watch me play Kill 2 Collect, the game plays better with more people. This game, I don't know if that's the case, because <clears throat> I'm, I'm immediately playing better without Spar here, which is no knock on Spar. It's, uh, do I? Oh, I still carry my health over from the last game. That's interesting. I'm getting Skype messages like crazy, and it's really aggravating me. Um, so, yeah, sometimes, like, the, uh, the screen fights over the players. So if he's on the left side, I'm on the right side, it's trying to pull between the two of us, and there's no pause in the game. So I can't turn my Skype off. Oh my god. Stop messaging me. So... Yeah, the screen fights over the players. Sometimes you get confused, even though one guy's red and one guy's blue. It still can get blurry because you cross over each other, and then you kind of your eye splits, and you're like, "Which one am I again?" <clears throat> so, in some cases with this game, having more players might actually hinder the game a little bit because I feel like I have more screen space. I can think about things a little bit easier. All the perks go to me, so I don't have a, a second player to come along and take the perk. Because only one player can pick up the perk at a time. Okay, we got a shield emitter. Oh my god, the fire. Oh, this is getting hectic. I really need some health. These little teal things are EXP orbs. Your character levels up and you get to pick a upgrade at the end of the level. Frick off. These guys are annoying. Come on, give me some health. What's up here? The yeah, that's the the roguelike la random level design is a little bit awkward. I really need some health. Tinker report? Orcs unlocked? See, like, why would I go up here? I guess if I go up here, there's a chance I can get freaking killed? I was hoping I'd get some health out of this. But yeah, got nothing, so... so why would I want to put myself in danger? There's no, uh... If you're gonna use a random level generator, you should have some more random rewards. Feels a bit too random. Nonsensical random. See, they're stuck. Again, another collision problem. <clears throat> Again, stuck on stairways. Stairs are a big problem. They needed their QA team to test this a little bit better. Okay, we really need some health. We gotta gamble. Sentry gun. Sentry guns are pretty cool. Oh shit. Did I get burned by that? One thing I think would be good with the dodge is if you could dodge through bullets. I think that would help. Like it give you a, a temporary shield while you're in dodge mode. Okay. 
kind of excited to see how the other characters play, though. Just, uh, I don't know how to get them. I'm just gonna have to keep playing the game. Cornered, what can you do? Oh. See, now I believe, because I lost there, let's start the game again. I have to start the whole game over again. From the very beginning. So, uh, yeah, I'm back on level one. And I have no upgrades or anything. I can't pick a different character. And that's about the difficulty of the game. It's damn difficult. So I like the challenge, but, you know, I'd like to switch it up. Like, if I have to go through this over and over and over and over again, and I'm not making any progress, is this the all the levels in the game? Like, some of these perks and upgrades, do they stay with you? It looks like they might. Okay. Well, you have 1,000 gold or more. I picked these when I leveled up. So it looks like... Um, abort session. So let's go back out. I'll just <laughs> So I, when I leveled up, I got to pick um, upgrades. And then those upgrades and perks, they look like they... Oh no, perks is basically reset at the end of every death or at the, at the end of every game over this perk is just for the character himself so these upgrades they look like they stay forever so the game will get a little bit easier every single time as long as you're getting levels and upgrades so you got to keep doing the first two levels over and over and over and over and over see how far you can get get a little bit stronger every time and then maybe you'll finally be able to beat the the missions and get a new character well, I think that's cool. I think there was, should be a respec because I never picked Med Addict. We skipped the menu at the end of the level and it picked it for us. We did not even get a look at the upgrades. We just like, what happened? It just went right back to the main menu and I guess we got Med Addict, which is not the best because healing efficiency increased by 5%. The biggest health you can get is like 10. So that's not a very big upgrade you're gonna get like 10.5 now or something that's pretty crappy so yeah not good at all but this while you have a thousand gold or more your healing efficiency is increased by 10 percent and your ability is recharged but that's also crappy so i wish i could reset these now it's going to take more levels to get more stuff and uh i'm stuck with these two crappy things i wish i could have picked something better so that's unfortunate and there's no way to reset the game like this guy has what he has don't think there's any way to reset the game start new private so yeah he's just the level he is single player so maybe you just get all the perks and you just get to pick one of the two and eventually you get them all from the looks of it Complete mission 2 to unlock. Complete mission 4. Complete mission 6. Complete the final mission. Oh. So from the looks of it, there's only those A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Six levels in the game. That's it. So you're doing the same thing over and over and over again on six levels. And sometimes you get slightly stronger by getting those... Um, the upgrades. The upgrades are going to make the game easier and easier and easier. So when you finally have all the upgrades, you're going to be able to get through the game a lot easier. But you're going to have done the first and second mission so many freaking times. Even though they're randomly generated, they still feel the same. They're not like different biomes. They're not different feeling levels. I feel like they could have done different worlds with this game. So, <clears throat> that's my first impressions on this, guys. We're going to play a little bit more co-op when Spar gets back, and we're going to try and beat that second level so we can get a second character, and then I'll give my thoughts and opinions on these characters. Hopefully, we have enough patience to play through the whole game and unlock all the characters, because I definitely want to see them. Now, the game does... I like the fact that you have something to earn, 
and something to look forward to, unlike Kill to Collect, if I'm making that direct comparison between these two roguelike games that we've played recently. So I do like the sense of progression that every time I play the game, I get a little bit stronger, but with picking one of these upgrades, and I get new characters eventually. So I just wish there was a little bit more to it. Like I wish you could kind of go into the level with a bit more loadouts, like maybe eventually earn a double jump, maybe earn a double dash and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to see how the game feels once we have all these upgrades and characters. But right now it's a bit bare bones. It's a little bit buggy. It's, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit bare bones. It's a little bit buggy, but it, it still has some fun factor to it. It's, it's not bad by any means. It's not bad by any means, but I do think it's very repetitive in the sense that I wish we could uh, beat the levels a little bit easier, progress a little bit faster, get more up upgrades, more unlocks, and that sort of thing, and then be able to get new characters and stuff like that. I wish we could just kind of switch the pace up a bit. There's not a lot of options, like when we die, we restart, we're back to level 1. It's just kind of like, okay, let's do level 1 again and we don't really get to pick any new game modes we can't get four players in we can't get the matchmaking's bad so it's just kind of you kind of feel like all you have is level one over and over and over again until you're good enough to actually beat level two and uh get a new character so pretty uh repetitive in the sense that you're farming these levels over and over again but it's not bad. It, it plays pretty well. It's a little bit clunky at first. If you rebind it, the uh, dash button, it feels decent. But yeah, that's my first impressions. My thoughts, I will give a final review on this and hopefully Spar and I make it a little bit further. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm Johnny5Alive. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.